Morning, welcome back. You ever wake up and think to yourself, hmm, what if I take the race I was originally born with and swap it out for a new shiny East Asian one? I know I have. Why do you think I look like this? Could just be me, but I've seen my fair share of people that believe they didn't fit their default race, so they bought a new one on their credit card. Sure, you can change your skin color, your eye shape, the food you eat, even the things you're interested in, but why not go one step further? Like these lovable weirdos from our ethnicity swappers, Hall of Fame. We got Ollie London, from British bloke, to K-pop idol Jimin, to Rose, from Blackpink, with a few other Asians collected on the way. And finally, to conservative right-wing Christian. Is this his final form? How many labels? can a person even collect? He already started on his Oppenheimer cosplay. Remember Rachel Dolezal, who claimed her straight hair also switched races when she decided it was time to? According to her, this 4C curl is all natural. Is her secret gel and a hot comb? Who knows? Some honorable mentions are Ariana Grande Sambenim and all the models on that one episode of America's Next Top Model. And Noelle, we're making you into a traditionally African woman with a head wrap and everything. It is definitely an exciting experience. We're living in some crazy times. For me, the only thing I can change about myself is how many new skills I can learn. Thanks to our sponsor, Skillshare, the online learning community where you're just a class away from learning impactful skills you can use in your everyday life. Get inspired by a supportive community to kickstart your creativity. From graphic design, Photoshop, how to create a productivity routine, and classes as simple as learning how to cut vegetables like a professional chef. The list goes on. I really enjoy Skillshare since I'm the type of person that likes to try out new things. I'm also someone that doesn't know everything, so having Skillshare as a reference for tasks I never learned how to do is pretty helpful like making gravy from scratch, or learning better techniques to make my YouTube thumbnails look better with Photoshop. I don't know about you, but ever since summer started, I've been so distracted. There's like so many things to do. So taking the course Productivity for Creators, Systems Organization and Workflow by Ali Abdal helps me stay on track for completing things I don't always want to do. The part where he teaches you how to stay motivated by changing your mindset about how you approach work actually helped me power through the boring parts of my job like writing emails and keeping track of taxes. So if you're wanting to unlock your creativity and and learn something new, the first thousand people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So we've seen the people that paid a lot of money to get a race change at the store, but what if I could tell you a new way to change your appearance that goes a little further than just skin deep, and it's also free. A community called RCTA or ECTA has been gaining traction recently. The terms stand for race or ethnicity change to another. They claim you can turn into any race you want. All you gotta do is put in the work like picking up a new workout routine to lose weight. You think life just gives out free handouts for free with no effort? I swear, no, no one wants to work days. nowadays. I have to, true. You have to surround yeah. yourself. There are TikTok accounts dedicated to RCTA, YouTube subliminal videos you can watch when you're sleeping that will supposedly change your DNA, Discord servers where all the people that want to get into this activity can gather together and check on each other's progress. The main demographic of people that do RCTA are pretty young. Think younger Gen Zs born in the early 2000s, teens, and basically kids that like to use TikTok. That's why this trend started blowing up on TikTok first. They love to make content explaining what this new thing is all about layered over a K-pop fan cam. What is RCTA? RCTA is when someone changes their race to their desired race. Their past race is called their dead race. So. They just be letting anyone with no proper credentials make up terminology now, huh? Something about this attempt at world building seems off. Almost like it was written by someone that probably shouldn't have internet access for at least another five years. RCTA is not the same to being transracial. We are more educated than they are. RCTA can happen when someone does not feel connected to their current culture, so they change it to the one they feel more happy with. RCTA is valid. Why would someone do RCTA in the first place? Don't people have hobbies and other important things to do? Well, to put it simply, when you're young, you are dumb. No offense, my previous younger self is also included. We've all been there. You're not gonna know any better when your brain is still in the baking phase and the ingredients aren't all mixed properly. Guys, the oven is still preheating. These grade schoolers that are basically born with an iPhone and an Apple Watch in each hand already have access to social media at such a young age, where they can post whatever thought they have in their head to an audience of more people than they see in their real lives, which is kind of terrifying. I would not want an audience witnessing the stuff I did at 10 years old. And the only thing middle aged women and preteens have in common is believing everything they see on Facebook. In grade 6, I thought I could summon a keyblade if I wished hard enough while running around the playground, talking like an English anime dub, but at least the only people that witnessed that were the other kids that were probably doing the same thing, and the teachers that were cringing and gossiping to the other teachers about these 
Weird ass kids, you have all the free time in the world with no taxes and bills to pay and no sense of identity yet, since you just gained a consciousness like a year ago. The main form of RCTA I've seen is usually when someone's white wanting to turn into something else, specifically someone of East Asian descent. Not all the time, but it does seem to be the most common. My introduction. Hi, my name is Hayoon. It means talented. Um. Any Korean Hyuns out there that can confirm, my gut is telling me this person isn't trustworthy. I am RCTA because my grandma is half Korean and I want to feel more connected to her culture. <laughs> <laughs> if you're already half Korean and want to feel connected with your Korean grandma, just learn Korean and talk to her, what the heck? Hey, Duolingo is free, and that green Duolingo bird is about to beat my ass for skipping my French class. What does RCTA mean? RCTA means race change to another. It is not racist. And then they have a picture of their face claim. A face claim in RCTA terms is a face that you eventually want to shift into. You'll see pictures of K-pop idols, celebrities, influencers, and random pictures from Pinterest as someone's face claim. And it's usually done without asking for any permission. Or they will ask, but then just take someone's face without even waiting for a response. I don't care. You are you, I'm me. This person said thank you in advance, like this person would say yes. I mean, the only thing good to come out of a face claim is that at least this person thinks you're pretty, but do you really want someone that does RCTA to be your main fan base? What's the fandom name? Asian Naders, a la Ariana Grande's Arianators. Even the video footage of people doing RCTA is taken from random creators with the ethnicity they want to achieve, probably without their permission as well. So me and my friend were chatting and I was telling her how I felt frustrated because I felt like I wasn't getting results, so I sent her two photos of my eyes and she so kindly drew them both and overlapped them which made me realize how much difference there is. Oh, there was not one period in that paragraph. I am losing brain cells every time I have to read one of these RCTA updates. Also, some of these are actually kind of racist. If you want to be Japanese, act cute and talk with a high-pitched voice. Don't forget to do your Korean things too. Those also help speed up the Japanese-fication of yourself. I I don't even have a comment on these statements. There's almost a million views on this TikTok. Well, Japanese and Nigerian people, it's your time to shine. Get them! Even mainstream media has picked up on RCTA, with many articles diving deeper into this trend and the psychology of why someone would do this. Since before she hit double digits, Alyssa, 15, said she has felt a special connection with Japan. The high school student who asked to be anonymous for fear of being doxxed online was born in Ukraine and lives in Maryland, but now she goes by the Japanese name Miyuki and listens to subliminals that promise she will wake up and be Japanese. So far, she believes that by listening to YouTube videos with lo-fi music and photos photos of East Asian facial features while she sleeps, her vision is cleared, her eyelids have become smaller, and her hair is just a bit darker. Okay, I guess when you're young, you will cling to any community that you find interesting. And since East Asian media is so prevalent nowadays and everyone's exposed to it, like K-pop from Korea, anime from Japan, and pretty Asian influencers on Douyin, which is the Chinese version of TikTok, it makes sense why people are fixating on these cultures and want to be more connected with them. By morphing into an Asian person. I remember kids back in the day would claim they were different races just to seem more exotic and different. We didn't have DNA tests you could order online back in the day, so we'd have no choice but to believe them. We would, however, bombastic side-eye them when they would tell everyone in the class their eyes are hazel colored with flecks of emerald. When they actually just stood in the sun with their brown eyes, some people said they were initially drawn to RCTA because of a special connection with a race or an ethnicity different from their own. Aaliyah, who goes by the Japanese name Sayaka Hashimoto online, oh god, said that she has always felt connected to Japanese culture and that she was elated to discover RCTA last year. This person has actually posted TikToks of herself using subliminals claiming it was actually working to change her features. Subliminals are a form of media like ASMR videos with messages you're supposed to watch while asleep. The more you listen to or watch them, the more effective they are at influencing what you want to achieve. It's all about manifesting the traits from the ethnicity you want to turn into onto yourself. Some people do claim that subliminal stimuli does work since 
means you're actively working towards the life you want. Not sure how effective these race changing ones are. If they actually worked, then everyone would be switching races every month like they're getting a new haircut. Not sure what pink manifestation therapy is, but 1kg overnight... Well that just sounds like a health concern. Or a really big number two. <laughs> Someone in the comments said it might be a tapeworm. Turning into an Asian ethnicity subliminal usually involves wanting really pale, smooth skin, small almond-shaped eyes with monolids, straight black hair, an East Asian skull. Why does that sound so unhinged? Are they gonna taxidermy us? I want to be buried in the ground, not displayed in someone's living room. It's pretty common for people that do RCTA to share the results, especially if your eyes start to change. My eyes two weeks ago. My eyes now. I'm also working on getting paler skin. I think I can see my eyes looking more Asian, and it's working. My goal. Hopefully, I can see my eyes looking like this soon. This is the subliminal I'm currently using. Search up Asian eye sub. In my expert opinion, as someone with Asian eyes, they just took off their lashes. It is a little concerning how many views some of these YouTube subliminal videos have. Is this why identity theft cases have skyrocketed over the years? Because of YouTube tutorials? This channel specifically makes subliminals that are supposed to change your face into a specific K-pop idol's face, regardless of your ethnicity. <laughs> Lisa's face. Carbon copy. More. Visual sub. <laughs> Jenny's face plus visual sub. Using this, the bundle, the anithity, and the one for eyes plus the physical booster. I didn't know you could mix and match them like a buy one get 10 at Bath and Body Works. If so, that's a pretty good deal. My grandpa is already half, but because my mom is more on my grandma's side and my dad is white, I didn't get any of the features. And I doubt I'm high in percentage on it, so I'm using these to enhance them. I'm also learning Japanese. I'll listen overnight or whenever I sleep and update tomorrow. There are whole routines being posted in the comments of people listening and watching these videos for weeks on end, while updating everyone with their progress. They must have a lot of free time and great attention spans cause I can't even watch a movie twice. Overall, subliminals are pretty harmless and are okay to listen to in private. It just gets weird when people start claiming they've become a different ethnicity because of them. This article I read also talks about social hierarchy and race. It's a lot easier for a white passing person to claim that they're a different race than let's say a black person claiming that they're white. They won't be able to get the same privileges as a Caucasian person in America. America. And doesn't it seem like celebrities have shifted from idolizing black features to East Asian ones recently? Remember when the Kardashians all had BBLs and really full lips, and Ariana Grande was super tan? Then all of a sudden, Kim got rid of her BBL, and Ollie London started praising Ariana Grande's new Asian look. Well that was a weird crossover. Not to pick on her, I know I am mentioning her a lot, and I'm not even sure if her intention was to look Asian, but she gives us so much to talk about. She's Italian, not sure why she's an Asian people people's and black people's business, and now apparently Spongebob's business. But could you imagine an Asian person race changing to an American? I'm pretty sure I've worn those exact same contacts before. Is that all I had to do? To become a Mackenzie Smith? Update, I'm starting to look more American. I started eating more corn dogs, burgers, chicken, etc. to get the American body and it's starting to work. I've asked a few people if they think I'm American and they do. I've also changed my vocabulary, IRL, and I'm working on doing it online. My eyes before subliminals, my eye after. If I didn't have American contact lenses before, I have them in my cart right now and ordering them as we speak. No one's gonna hate crime me now, not while wearing these babies. Some psychologists say people's inclination to change their race can stem from many motivations, including a desire to be more exotic or shame associated with their race. But the specific motivations can vary from person to person. If you hold a highly privileged position in society, and that is brought to your awareness, it can give you a feeling of guilt or shame. A lot of people try to find refuge from that shame. Aaliyah said that growing up, she was mocked for being Egyptian. I've had many people call me fiery or that I get angry quickly 
just because I'm Middle Eastern. It might also have been a reason why I transitioned. You can change your appearance to fit another culture's beauty standard, but if you take a DNA test, it will give you the same result no matter how many subliminals you watch or Asian interests you pick up. Maybe if you eat 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 pies, 55 coke, 100 tater tots, 100 pizzas, 100 tenders, 100 meatballs, 100 coffees, 55 wings, 55 shakes, 55 pancakes, 55 The percentage of your DNA might change, but it might be in more terms of cholesterol. There are RCTA Discord servers where people will share progress of how their transition is going. Apparently, it is quite hard to get into these communities because of the amount of trolls and people clowning on them. To be honest, yeah, RCTA is valid. I used to be Norwegian, but now I am a <laughs> I'm RCTA, I used to be a Samsung washing machine, now I'm a wart. But if you do get into one of these servers, it is pretty wild. Okay, I posted my thing and I'm waiting to get verified. Um, I really tried to make it so that I wasn't like, I wasn't like, um, too obvious. Holy shit, holy shit, I got verified. Oh my god, I have access to the rest of the channels. Bro, someone posted champ. <laughs> Sorry, the pic is low quality. I took it on my old phone. Oh my god, that's really good! This person has to be like nine, because they haven't even discovered reverse Google image searching. What the? What methods do you use for the eyes? Because usually I just pull my eyes back. <gasps> oh my god! They're a troll. I banned them. Actually, I'm heartbroken. Why did I believe them? Don't worry, people lie all the time. <laughs> Eyes are a pretty sensitive topic for Asian people. Don't they know that's like a core memory for like 90% of us? It seems like there's a huge obsession with changing our eye shape on these forums. <laughs> people be posting their Do I look more Hispanic? Not really, it's crazy. <laughs> this is when I started. You look more Hispanic before. Now you look less Hispanic. <laughs> what could I be doing? Nobody said anything in the vent channel, so I'm gonna start, like, I'm gonna type something up. I, I typed out, guys, I'm so sick. My parents won't support my RCTA journey, and I just can't take it anymore. <laughs> Face reveal. I'm kind of insecure, but I tried doing the Asian anime look. After watching subs in anime, it kind of worked. Oh my god, you're so pretty. If you don't feel connected with your culture, changing your appearance won't be the thing that fixes it. There's a huge difference between appropriating something and appreciating it. These people are only obsessed with the aesthetic of looking like a different race and not the other stuff that comes with it. If they do end up changing their race somehow, it might be okay at first, but you might actually experience something called racism. I covered a topic back in the day where a Brazilian man changed his race to Korean by getting plastic surgery to look like one physically. Where our CTA is just thinking about it, Max, who now goes by Jan Nishi, took the change part to a whole nother level. He went on a talk show where the host actually made fun of how he looks now. And I'm sure a lot of us Asians know the canon event of where someone tells us to open our eyes when they're already open. Parecido, né? No, no tem nada parecido aí, desculpa. É uma outra pessoa. E você de casa que está com o Geraldo Luiz em todo o Brasil, e aí? Você sabe que a Raiane não tem... Ela é impressionante, ela não tem nada. Tipo, sem, nem de silicone ela tem nada. Nada, nada. Nada. Dá uma olhada. Eu posso? Pode mexer aqui? A Beyoncé quer ficar japa também. Olha lá. Olha, fica bonito. Tá doendo? Não. Já passou a dor? Não, eu não tive dor nenhuma, nenhum ah. momento. Mas quando você acordou, deve ter. O pós-cirúrgico deve ser terrível. A lot of things that happen online don't always work the same in real life. That's why we have the term chronically online. When people spend way too much time on the internet, they start talking in Fortnite emotes to their coworkers. If you bring up RCTA to someone you just met at a party, they would think you're talking about car terminology and ask how fuel efficient your Ford RCTA is. Since most of these people are still pretty young, let's hope this is just a phase that they'll eventually grow out of once their brain fully develops. Hopefully, sooner than later. Maybe parents should actually parent and make their kids go outside, eat some grass, touch a sport, go dig a hole with your bare hands, you know, the normal kid stuff. And while we're all here, how about we give this video a like? It's free, it engages the algorithm, and it's more socially acceptable than changing your race. That way, YouTube will know you enjoyed my content and I'll get to pop up on your recommended the next time I post. And don't worry, after I picked Asian as my default race when I was born, I'm pretty set on keeping it the same. The food's so good. I won't suddenly jump scare you as a Irwin Smith in the future. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and see you in the next one.